Hi, this is Kylie from Crafting on the Fly and today I'm going to show you how to make this winter headband. And I'm actually using um, Mosaic Crochet. I use this as Karen Simple Soft and White and also in Red so that you really have that nice um, colors. And we're using uh, crochet hook number 4. And I have the chart here that I created for Mosaic Crochet. So the main thing is that you need two different colors at least and then they just um, change color with each row. And we're starting with the red with a foundation double crochet. So you chain three, go into the first one, yarn over, go through the last two. So again, sorry. Um, you go into these two loops that you created, pull up one, yarn over, go through the first loop, yarn over again and go through the last two loops. And that's how you keep on going. So go through the through those two, yarn over through the first one, yarn over and through the last two. And this gives you a nice and stretchy um, edge. Since you're using a headband, you don't want to have just the uh, chains, foundation chains, but actually that foundation double crochet. This pattern has a repeat of uh, 12, so um, I used uh, 7 of those repeats for my uh, headband and so I need to chain a, a total of 84 foundation chains just to like really get the whole repeat going and going. And so once you have those um, 84 foundation chains, you combine the two ends, make sure that they are um, not twisted or anything, that really are the same way. And with the double foundation chain, it's sort of like you combine the first just slip stitch into that. But with the new color, with the white, because with uh, mosaic crochet, you just alternate two colors, like each row is a different color. And since we're going around, you can just leave them there and just bring up the other color. You don't have to do any like cuttings and then weaving them in, so that will be fun much easier this way if you do the rounds. So you chain one and then actually you can see that the bottom you can connect those two bottoms from because it's the double uh, foundation chain like this one tight and then just um, use your hook there to just combine the bottoms with the uh, string that you have there with the red one. So just like taking it going in on one side And then doing the same on the other side, so that is sort of like the bottom loop that's going on. And just then chain one, I'll go through actually the slip stitch. And then this way you have them all combined and once you tighten everything, it's just gonna be almost seamless. this one and then see how now it's basically combined <clears throat> and then for this first row as you can see uh, in your chart because the thing is really that all the X's means when you go down to the color to combine the two colors if there's no X like in this first white row then you're just gonna do a back loop single crochet so everything is done in the back loop except of the ones where it's an X and then you're going to actually do a front loop double crochet into that front loop that you have open because you want to use the back loop from the previous sign. So I did a whole row, the white one was just a back loop double, a single crochet, but now you can see in the next row we're actually going to bring the, uh, see how like you can just see where you're going along and then there are the X's you go down with a front loop double crochet just into that front loop from uh, one row down so it's just you skip one row and that's how you connect this over but first we're gonna um, keep going with the uh, back loop single crochet so as long as there's no X in your pattern you just keep going with the back loop but right now we're at that front part so 
the yarn over and then go into that loop from the uh, row one below and do a double crochet and then keep going like in the design it shows in the pattern to just do the back loop uh, single crochet and this way you see how you bring the color over and that's the uh, part of the stem here and then just keep, keep counting when you're at the back of you know between the two lines that's when you start to the front again and then just do the repeats it's seven repeats in this pattern and since you're going in the rounds it's you know nice to just get to the end of the round and then bring over the new color so you just um, slip stitch into the new color or come up with the new color but first you have to go all the way around And then I think I'm again at the point where I have to go down because at the next, yes, repeat. So we on over, then go into that front loop from the row below, do double crochet, and there's your next stem for the next tree. So at the end then, we're just going to slip stitch to the beginning. And it's sometimes a little hard, especially those first rows, to really get in. Let me see. So you have to normally be a little bit looser than me here so that you can really end. There you go. And then actually uh, you don't use that. You use the white from below. So since you still have that connected, just pull that up and pull it through. Because then once you tighten everything, um, it's fairly invisible, but you know we're not gonna bother about it. Then chain one, and then keep going with the pattern, which now I'm in that um, third row there. So you see those two X's. So I'm just gonna go with the uh, front loop, double crochet into the white part now, since we're pulling up the white to cover the red there and then the next one too is also pull yarn over go into that front leap loop and then do a double crochet and then keep going when there's no X you just do a single back loop single crochet and then you saw the two X's in the front so two front loop double crochets there And then just follow the pattern. Now the rest is all just back loops, back loop, single crochets, since there's no X shown in the pattern. And then you repeat that seven times until you once again around it. So here I continued with the entire pattern. I'm almost done. Um, I have one more of the white here. And as you can see, there's also again the top there, you have two and two, and, and now it's just um, all back loop single crochets. And there we have the pattern, you see the trees, the pine trees or Christmas trees, and then all the little snowflakes around it. So again, here we are with the front loop double crochets, one and two, that go around the tree there. Then a back loop single crochet, so that you can see that top little star, as I call it, little snowflake, depends. And then again, two front loop double crochets. And so you have that entire pattern. And the last row is just with the red, with the, um, it's almost at the entire row is um, back loop single crochets. And here you don't bring up a new color, you just stay with that color. Because I thought that um, since that bottom double crochet is a lot bigger than the uh, top one now, I wanted to add a little extra to it. So we're gonna do, um, 
the worst slip stitch, such as going backwards in the opposite direction. You pull your um, hook through the loop there of that back loop single crochet, pull up yarn and pull it through both uh, loops on your hook. And just keep going all the way around, just in the opposite direction. It feels a little fun in the beginning, but it's actually quite easy and gives you a nice little edge because it kind of like uh, pulls the yarn around it. So it's, it's a nice edge. Just sometimes a little hard to work. Just because you're going in the opposite direction, so it feels funny. So you can see now you have uh, a similar edge, so it's nice and even across. So it did the entire part and now since this is the area that's going to be scrunched up, that's where the design came together and is a little funny, so it's the perfect spot. And you can just continue with your yarn, one, two, three, four. Five, six chains. And that's going to be the flap. And then just uh, in the second um, chain from the hook, you're going to do a double crochet. And then keep doing double crochets all the way to the end. So there's one, then there's two. And another one. Number three. And the fourth one. And that gives you this little flap, the part, beginning of it, and just keep going up a little. So you chain two, turn it around, and do a double crochet into the next one, next stitch, and then another double crochet. So two, and then another one. Three, and then chain two. So you have four essentially um, going up for sort of double crochets next to each other. So this is the third round. Another double crochet there. And then chain two. Turn around. Double crochet into the next stitch. And into the next one. And that's the third one. And this way you have three rows. Let's do one more. Double crochet and another one. And one more double crochet. And let's see, I think this should be long enough to cover everything there. Let me get it around. Let's see. I think we're doing one more. So chain two, turn around. And three double crochets into the next stitches. Okay, now we just have to hook those together. I cut the yarn and just pull it all the way around it with a needle on it and then just uh, stitch it together sort of like in the back or on the top there or bottom so just whip stitch those two sides together those two ends
I totally went off camera there. But yeah, it's just those two ends of that little flap that we made, just whip stitch that together. And this gives you like the, um, the little crunched up part, you can even put it in the front to the side or just put it in the back of your head if you want to have the full design in the front like I, I was wearing in the picture. But that's it. Cut the yarn and you have your beautiful Winter Wonderland headband.